Hey, I'm Aaron from MFC India and today we're going to talk about friendships. So if I would ask you how many friends you had, what would you say? 10, 100, 1000, 2000? But hold on, we're not talking about Instagram followers. Now that would drop your count, wouldn't it? So let's say you're going through a hard time and you needed some counsel. Who would you share with? Would you share with all thousand of them? Probably not, right? You'd share it with only a handful. But why not the rest? St. John Paul II reiterated Aristotle's classification of friends. He said there are three types of friends. First, useful friends. These would typically include your schoolmates who you share your notes with, or the friends on the same project group, or even the friends you carpool with. Their presence in your life is helpful but these friendships won't always last. Second, pleasant friends. This is the friend whose company you enjoy. You love the same music, you love the same football team, or you're in the same choir together. The two of you get along well and love to spend time together. But that's only as far as your friendship goes because it's primarily based on having fun together. Third, virtuous friends. Here the friendship goes much deeper. These are the friends who call out the best in you. This is the real deal. The two friends are united not in self-interest, but in the pursuit of a common goal of virtue, of excellence. They run alongside each other and push each other to the finish line. They push each other towards heaven. There's nothing wrong with having useful or pleasant friendships, but some of us may have only these. And if that's the extent of our friendships, then we are clearly missing out on having true, genuine and authentic friends. The first two ask, what can I receive? While virtuous friendships ask, how can we help each other? Virtuous comes from the Latin word meaning excellence. And virtuous friends bring out excellent in the other. Take stock of the friends you have today. And if most of them are in the pleasant or useful category, here's how you can let those evolve into deeper friendships. 1. Strive for virtue. The two of you should be pursuing the same good. 2. Share your wounds. Be vulnerable with one another. Share your struggles and pray for each other. 3. Share Christ. Help one another grow in faith. And 4. Sacrifice. Invest time and energy for each other. The good news is that our community offers us friends who are pursuing the same goal that is heaven. So let's be grateful and build lasting friendships.